Alrighty, now the odds for the 2021 NBA championship have come out, and the number one is the Nets at plus 225 of winning the ring, and I thought that was kind of real bizarre, but then they went and beat the Nuggets, so well done to them, but the Nets are the front runner at plus 225 odds, then the Lakers at number two at plus 450, what, what, I mean, I, I, I like LeBron James, don't get me wrong, and I think this Lakers team is good, but I mean, folks, have we seen some of these other teams, the 76ers, the Jazz, the Bucks, the Clippers, I mean, even the Nuggets, we love the Nuggets, and uh, the Lakers being number two is a little wild, then we have the Clippers tied at two as well at plus 450, how great are odds of that, If uh, but we have to see Kawhi Leonard and Paul George really step it up, they floundered last night against the Knicks, hopefully they don't flounder in the playoffs. But uh, the real, the real robbery here, the real robbery here, the real great value here is the Bucks to win the title this year is at plus 700. We're really feeling like it's the Bucks year this year. We weren't buying into the Bucks last year. We didn't buy into the Bucks two years ago, but now we are officially Bucks supporters out here. They're getting it done offensively. They're putting up all the points. They're scoring from the outside, the inside. The bench is great. The, the, the fourth player, the, the, these role players are great. Drew Holiday's, you know, commanding the floor. Chris Middleton, you know, is getting it done every single game. So this Bucks team, this is the year that we feel they can go all the way. And them at plus 700 is great odds there. The Jazz at plus 750 is, you know, decent as well. We're not, you know, huge buyers of this Jazz team, but they've got the pieces to win. The 76ers, more great value here at plus 900. I mean, Joel Embiid, folks, in this starting roster, I mean, I know we say it a lot, but it's one of the best starting rosters that there is just, you know, in the entire NBA, honestly. Um, Tobias Harris is fantastic. Danny Green, Seth Curry, you've got two lethal outside shooters when they are on. Um, and then the bench of just Dwight Howard, Shake Milton, Thibault just getting it done deep as heck. The starters are all good. You've got, you know, an MVP candidate in Joel Embiid. And, you know, we saw that's one thing that hurt the Nets a couple of games ago. The Bucks beef down low. Giannis just continuing, going for 40 a night. Joel Embiid can do the same thing. Um, and then the Suns at plus 1,400 at the seventh kind of highest ranked to win the title this year. And, you know, we are, you know, big fans of the Suns team as well. They've got nice pieces. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, obviously, Jay Crowder, um, DeAndre Ayton, all looking pretty good. But, you know, their offensive production on some nights so is very lackluster. So I don't think it's great value at plus 1,400. And then the Nuggets at plus twenty five hundred at number eight, we love that as well. I mean, you've got the you've got the MVP there in Jokic, absolutely fantastic. Um, you know they're winning without Jamal Murray, another great sign. A little thing that we have to kind of pull back on in this Nuggets team is their last two games against the Jazz and the Nets. They lost against both of those, so a little concerning there. You know, losing against the best best caliber teams at the back at back end of the seasons never great, uh, and we are going to have to reflect that in our power rankings in a um, in a couple of segments. Uh, but yeah, I mean some good odds here. Um, I'm a little I, I don't really understand why the Nets are number one. They did just go out and beat the Nuggets, but, you know, can they beat the Bucks? Can they even come out of the East? We don't even think so because <laughs> you're going to have to face the Bucks and probably the 76ers. You might have to face both of those teams. So, you know, just getting pounded down low. Who's going to stop it? DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin. I mean, I like those guys. Uh, you know, I was a fan of those, you know, Lob City days with the Clippers of Chris Paul and the big three there. But, uh, you know, they, they just never got it done. They were just never elite. They were just never great for a seven-game series, you know, deep into the playoff run. They never got to the Western Conference Finals with the Clippers. So, can't trust them, and uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather take, you know, Giannis and Joel Embiid over DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin. I think that's a no-brainer, but definitely in the uh, in the playoffs, that's where these kind of great superstars of Embiid and, you know, Giannis, you know, back, you know, Giannis, you know, last year MVP winner, Joel Embiid, a MVP front runner this year, uh, you know, top three at least, so. Uh, box at plus 700. I love those odds. I think those are fantastic odds, and I think that's where the best value is, honestly, on uh, on this odds chart.